Well, I've had a dig around in the old scrap bin. I found a uh, nice chunk of steel that I want to try and uh, make an adapter play out of. The idea is this will go onto the outside of the bulkhead. I'll uh, weld some bolts, probably from the backside through to hold the pedal box, and then some different bolts that will come through and hold the mast cylinder, and then I can sort of fine tune it. So this is, I just need to cut it 1200 long by 700 deep, just get a, a basic cut. I can drill the holes uh, to go through the pedal box first of all, uh, and go from there, we'll have to cut a, quite a nice large hole out for the master cylinder as well. So I'm going to mark it all up and cut it out with a grinder. So as you would have just seen, I've um, cut a bit of plate out roughly. The shape will end up being uh, trimmed down as much as I can later on. Obviously it's quite a bit of a plate. I've drilled it a little bit oversized, a little bit more than 10mm. The actual bolts that hold the servo or the uh, originally held the servo on stroke pedal box for a 10mm diameter. I just uh, basically measured from the centre of that one to that one, which is 90. Uh, gave me a little bit of uh, additional uh, room really. So uh, I know it's not going to sit square. The tension is this is really just to sort of bridge the gap give me a mounting plate for the new master cylinder what I intend to do is to drill not quite as big as this but drill a hole from this side it's called counter boring so do the hole from this side about halfway through that the head of the bolt goes into I might even put like a cap head bolt in it so it's not even a hex head bolt it goes literally just below flush of the uh, surface then you can actually weld all this up and it's uh, effectively captive then so you've only got um, it doesn't shove me outside obviously and you only got to get to the inside to do your nut up so that's the plan So what I've done with a nice big drill bit that's got a step on it so you can fit it into standard half inch chuck, I think this is a 17mm, I've uh, counterboard the holes, dip myself about a bit, about a millimetre on the back that I haven't gone through so that's still got the uh, sort of 10, 10 half mil hole in it in the front. I've taken these um, one of these bolts, standard ones, made sure it's long enough by comparing it with the one on the back of the server originally. And I've cut the head half off so it's not as fat or deep and then I've actually rounded it off so now that goes in there so the idea is I'll bolt it all up obviously I've got the other one to sort out yet as well put the nuts and bolts on the other side bolt it on nice and tight and then just get a tack weld whilst it's actually fitted to the car so I know it's dead in line take it all off and then weld all this up sort of plug weld it type stuff then obviously grind it flat so hopefully it'll be invisible uh, and then later on obviously I can then shape the uh, the rest of it accordingly so I just got to crack on and get the other bolt done just doing a bit of a double check that it still all lines up so I've got now I've got to cut some slots in the head of the bolt for a screwdriver and uh, bolt it all in place after filling the front side of the actual fixing bolts for the plate I've bolted all in the car, worked out exactly where the centre line was, so that, so that was vertical, here. Uh, I tried to put the mask cylinder far over to the, effectively the passion side as I can, so it's dead in line with the centre of the pedal. I'm going to try and extend the, the uh, centre, or the push on the pedal to go to the centre of the brake pedal, in exactly the same way as the servo did on the original fitting. Uh, centre potted round the outside of the uh, masters in the sort of diameter, drilled a few, uh, changed drilled a few holes, joined them all together, eventually got the centre bit out, I didn't have a big enough tank cut unfortunately. I've roughly sort of cut it out and tried to smooth it, it's not very pretty, um, obviously the whole of the masking will cover it. Um, just been back and bolted this in the car, dropped the mask cylinder in, marked up the centre line again to try and work out exactly where the fixings have got to go for the mask cylinder. Let's just grab the mask cylinder. 
So we've got to go like that. Uh, mark the centre of these holes when, it, when the master seam is sitting nice and square. I'm now going to drill out these holes from the front initially. And do exactly the same on the back. Uh, enlarge a hole on the back so that I can put some bolts through the back, weld them, and then that way I haven't got to worry about getting nuts and bolts inside. So that's the plan. I'm hoping when I get it all done, I can actually then tidy up this hole and make it a bit more presentable than it does look at the moment. Um, yeah, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. But let's see how I get on. Do a bit more drilling and grinding. Well, not the rounders of holes I've ever done. Uh, the plate that I'm using as an adapter between the servo and non-servo master cinders is about sort of 8mm thick. It's quite obviously hard to try and drill through. It didn't have a big enough depth drill, so I ended up to put some small pilot holes away around and then just sort of uh, connect them together and try and file it out as best I can. I had to be very wary that I wasn't going to um, expose any of the holes either side as I was doing it. So it's come out okay. I also draw filed it down the outside to try and get a reasonable finish. Uh, and then just taking out the media blast. I've just done a bit on each side as you can see, just to show how that well that's working now. Obviously, just taking off rust and paint is not too bad, but when you've got to take off old pallet coating, as I have been doing on the rocker cover um, yesterday, it's quite a long winded process, but the, the rust and the paint comes off quite well. I'm going to assemble this all up now and just sort of show you how it all goes together. So, first of all, the plate goes on and the 10mm threaded or captive bolts just stick through the back here. As you can see, I've just put one on there, there's another one buried down the, the back end here. Just holds the plate to the bulkhead. As you can see, I've um, pushed over the hole to the right hand side so that it's directly in front of the brake pedal. So, my aim is to try and extend the master cylinder to hit that hole there with an appropriate piece of tubing. And then, use the original restrictor that's on the back of the Sierra servo to actually go through the pedal and then uh, obviously give you something to push against. So the Sierra servo has a 10mm piece of tubing, it's then restricted down to around about I think it's about 7mm there and this plunger that goes on the end, obviously you can't go past that point there. Uh, then that obviously gives the pedal something to push against. The intention is to try and get, uh, cut this off, get a bit of sleeve in, and uh, obviously extend it out, that's probably 10 mil there, so I might have to put a little bit of a joiner between the two, extend it out and replicate that fit in there on the end of here. Um, add a little bit in for the actual spacer, but approximately the same length as that is, it's just add 10 mil in for the spacer. And it should give me, hopefully, the, the same sort of pedal travel to um, get an initial bite of the brakes. So with the captive 8 mil bolts now here, on the front I can just hopefully just put the master cylinder on. Like a cut of 8 mil bolts, nuts, sorry, washers either side. Uh, just try and tighten them up so you can see what it looks like when it's all fitted properly. So there we have it fitted, hopefully looking reasonably square, the uh, reservoir. Just the uh, 8 mil nuts either side. Obviously you'll have um, locking washers when required. And I've got a, an outlet there at the back, and one for the front. Slightly different sizes, so hopefully I'll actually have the right sort of pressure volume for front and rear. Just got to uh, rearrange the brake pipes accordingly. I'm going to take off that plate that I've made up and powder coat it. I've tried to um, trim it down so it's sitting reasonably square. It was a uh, Holes are slightly off, though now it looks not too bad. It'll end up being satin black, so hopefully it should blend in quite well with the actual chassis colour behind it. <laughs> 